hey guys welcome to my channel brown gentleman tech so in this video lecture we are going to learn how to delete a data from cloud fire store in the previous lecture of the firebase series we have learned how to fetch a data from cloud fire store using a stream builder so in this video lecture we are going to learn how to delete a data from cloud fire store so let's get started so uh, this is my class in which i have just create a custom widget named as foods you can name by your own choice and here i return container including stream builder a uh, stream builder we have already studied about stream builder in the previous lectures i will give a link of that video in the description you can check there and in a stream i will pass just a name of a collection a reference to that collection and in the list dot builder i have returned the list tile i wrap that list tile in a guest detector because we have to use the uh, on tap features as well which we want to make it a clickable if you don't want it just remove it no need to worry so in list style i just provide a title uh, which is shown name of the food and subtitle shows the price of the food and the trailing uh, here provides the delete icon so uh, you can see here in the right side here is an emulator okay it, uh, still there is no data shown in the screen because we have no data on the cloud fire store let's get to the cloud fire store and add some data there so here this is the screen of firebase i have opened the cloud fire store section so here i'm going to create a collection name as foods okay to show you the data how to delete the data from cloud fire store and here a uh, document id i will give it auto and field name as apple and one more price as 120 okay just add it so let's wait for one to two second and it successfully added okay that's it now let's get back to the android studio screen so see here it shows but it given error try string it's not a sub type of widget so let's remove it the error was uh, the title requires a widget so we are to going we have to pass a text widget here okay so that was an error so just also wrap this in a text widget also uh, so that was a mistake so let's move it and hot reload it so that it will be definitely be removed so here apple and price will be shown okay so let's zoom it so here it is so now i'm going to add some more data to the cloud file store add document field name make sure the field name will be same and mango and price will be price value will be uh, 200 okay so let's add two or three more uh, name papaya what 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 was the name you can add by your own favorite food and name field this is a name field name and this is a value of that field papaya and also price okay and here it is five four hundred just save it okay so this is the three fields so let's get back to the screen so here it automatically but that was the uh, useful feature of stream build so now when i click on delete button nothing will happen now let's go and wrap that in a inkwell widget or also you can use the icon button here so let's wrap it a uh, inkwell and remove this gesture detector gesture detector and in inkwell i am going to use a on tap on tap and here i'm going to print a to check whether the delete button is work or not delete okay so just hot reload it and let's maximize the delete okay so it works so now i'm going to write the method and call that in a delete button to delete a document from the cloud fire store so let's create a method void delete foods delete food and here id okay firebase firebase fire store dot instance dot collection name of a collection is foods and dot doc and here i pass the id dot delete here i am going to pass a delete ok 
ओके सो दैट्स इट नाउ एंड व्हेन इट सक्सेसफुली डिलीटेड आई एम गोइंग टू पास अ फ्लटर टॉस डॉट शो टॉस्ट फूड डिलीटेड ओके वी कैन आल्सो पास अ नेम हियर सो लेट दैट्स डिस्कस दैट इन लेटर सो नाउ जस्ट होट रीलोडेड एंड पास कॉल दिस मेथड इन अ एयर डिलीट food and instead of id i am going to pass a dot data dot docs dot instead of id so just i pass it here and let's i put a async here async and also put a await here okay so now just hot reload the app and check whether it works or fine uh, so now press spread it papaya so it's successfully deleted so how this function will work let me tell you so in here i'm passing a document id what is document id this is the id of the document so i am passing it here so that it can delete the deleted so we can also show some extra feature here like uh i am also going to pass a name one more variable and instead of this food uh, and i am going to pass a that variable and instead of uh, i am going to pass a data name okay so now it's good now let's sort it load it so whenever the food deleted it shows this food will be deleted like i am going to delete a mango so it shows a mango deleted so it is a zoom screen so that's why it's not shown so now let's delete apple last word is left so let's delete apple also so it shows apple deleted so that's it for the this video that was the main motive of this video uh, hope you like the video if you understand then hit press the like button if you have any query then you can contact any time in the comment box or personally in my facebook or instagram page so let's meet in the next video till then